All right, so I think it's uh, 1030. So uh, we shall start just uh, for now. Um, I would like to thank every one of you um, who spent some time this morning to join in uh, our webinar with uh, TIFF uh, South Australia, TIFF SA with uh, um, Ms. Chloe Nguyen. Um, she is uh, the International Education Consultant at uh, TIFF uh, SA. Um, she, her pre uh, primary market uh, is Vietnam, um, Malaysia, Singapore, and Philippines, and uh, over uh, Southeast Asia, um, also South America and Europe as well. Um, so she used to work as a, an education agent before. So if you have any question uh, in terms of recruiting for students or just any question, uh, please feel free to ask. Uh, during uh, her presentation today. Um, she has over five years of experience in international ed education. Um, so um, she could really uh, be helping you guys um, to recruiting students and helping support you guys on the side. Um, so uh, Chloe, um, I would like to uh, pass on to you, but before that, uh, just a quick reminder. Um, so um, this is a webinar and we will also have the recording. Um, so, and we would like to uh, uh, send some uh, PBT and training um, material after this webinar for you guys. So if you have um, any question or uh, if your, some of your colleague cannot make it today, uh, please pass it on to, uh, to them as well. So um, over to you, Chloe. Um, thanks, Ivy. Hi, everyone. My name is Chloe. Like what Ivy introduced me, um, I'm working as the consultant at TEF South Australia, and I've been in the international industry, um, not talking about my academic, but talking about when I started to work um, here. I've been here for five years. Um, so it, I don't think it's that long compared to people that have 10 years plus, but I'm very confident with my performance. Um, and with my knowledge with TEFSA. So when I'm doing the presentation, um, feel free to stop me and ask me any question if you have, um, because sometimes you might have a question at that stage, but then if you wait for me until I finish the presentation, you might forget. Um, and you know, sometimes it's hard to um, get the um, response as quick as possible. So yeah, um, so I'll just share my screen for the PowerPoint and if Ivy, can you help me if um, you cannot see? So because you, yeah, if you can't sure. see, other cannot see as well. Yes, I can see it clearly now. Yeah, I will just put it a full slide. Okay, is it a full slide for you on that yeah, side? It's full so, okay, yeah. okay, good, good, good. Um, so for those who are not sure who we are, uh, who am I? Um, so TEVSA is a technical and further education in South Australia. So that's a short term, uh, that's a long name, but the short name we call it as a TEF. Um, and SA stands for South Australia. So you might be familiar with this name by, you know, we have TEF New South Wales, TEF Queensland or TEF Tasmania. Um, but each day we have a different rules and regulation. Um, so TEF South Australia, Australia is controlled and governed by the South Australian government. Um, and we are a hundred government providers. So we are not, we don't have any private funding here. Um, we have more than 1 million 
student have studied with us since we established, which is in 1971. We are, I'm confident to say that we are the largest vocational training um, providers in South Australia. We are also not just delivering the trade course, we also deliver um, the higher education course as well. Um, in within Adelaide, so metropolitan area, we have nine campuses, but outside Adelaide, we still belong to South Australia. We have a lot more. Um, and as below, I can see that uh, we deliver training at over 300 locations across the state. And we have more than 70 in course area of industry um, available with TAVSA. So I don't know if I, let me just click, if you can, I just show you a video of us. Um, can you see the screen, Ivy, uh, the YouTube? Mm, not actually. Okay, uh, so I have to stop to share. Yeah, I think you have to, uh, you have to share uh, your uh, YouTube, um, like the, the browser separately. You have to share it again. Oh, okay, sure. so I have to stop yeah. it now and then, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah. But can you hear? Um, I think you have to unmute. Uh, not actually. But oh, okay. we can we can see it. Yeah, we can see it, but not not. You can see it. Okay, I'll that. just um see yeah. it for now, and because in the PowerPoint, so you can share with everyone later. Yes, yes, for sure. Yeah.
Um, yeah, so from the video that you can see, so it was filmed across our campuses. So Regency campus, city campus, Tonsley campus, and a few more other campuses in that um, video. Um, so you can see also, you can see how many, what courses we are offering. For example, in that video, we offer automotive, we offer hospitality, cookery, um, nursing as well. Um, yeah, so I just moved to the next one of saying which campus we are having because you, um, I don't know if any of you have been to Australia or even into Adelaide. So um, our Adelaide is spreading, but um, everyone is seem to be central in the middle. Um, and where I, where our campus is, is in the CBD, which is in the central of the city. Um, we have two campuses in the city. One is um, called City Campus, which is delivering English course, business called IT course, nursing as well, and also hair and beauty courses. Um, we also, the another city course is, uh, City Campus is LA College of the Art. So that campus is, is specialized for art only, and they're delivering art and fashion design, screen media um, in that um, campuses. Um, and uh, apart from the two campuses, um, like 20 minutes drive by car away from the city campus, we go to the Regency campus, um, which is number five in that map. So um, the Regency campus is specialized in hospitality, um, cookery, patisserie, um, automotive. Um, and we uh, this is the campus I am based in, or all the admission gonna based in. Um, and this is really, really big. And just for more information, Regency campus is one of the Vietnam Tao, uh, Vietnam suburb. So, um, so in Regency campus, so in the suburb we call it as a Hanson Row. Um, we have a lot of Vietnamese restaurants here. Um, and we have, um, you know, Asian grocery, not just Vietnamese, we have um, Chinese, Thailand as well. Um, and but this is very uh, famous within the Vietnam community, the Regency area. Um, so this is the pictures of the campus. So we start from the beginning. So you can see um, it's Regency campus, and then you can see the city campus. Um, I don't know if you see my mouse. So this is the city campus. This is a Tonsley campus, um, and this is a uh, city. Uh, uh, AC at campus. So this is just four of our campuses. We also have more. What we deliver, so as I mentioned before, we deliver vocational courses and higher education. So for vocational, we offer from certificate three to advanced diploma. Um, I put the list here so in the future you can just click on here to see the list. I'll show you it later. So we offer graphic design, interior design, screen and media, building construction, um, marketing course, hospitality, which include cookery, patisserie, um, and hospitality itself, nursing, IT, automotive, engineering, horticulture, dental, hair and beauty. Um, so I just click here. I don't know if you can see my screen or do I have to stop and share again? Um, I need to stop, right? Yes, yes, I think you need me to share it again. So this is the, the front by when you go to the tefsa.edu.au, um, this is the page that we have. And then um, majority of people who just visit our website, they go to the course here. So this course here is only for domestic students. But you can see some courses not delivered to international students. So the most accurate is to click here international. And then you can go to the international course. Um, and it will show all the courses available to the international student. So for example, if your student want to do cookery, then you go to the hospitality area and then you can just scroll down and see certificate three in commercial cookery. And then you click on it. If you wonder how long the course will be, how much we'll be asking for student and is there any package available? What will be delivered in the course? So you can just scroll down and see the course duration is one year, which means two semester. The teaching duration is 40 weeks. That means we have holiday as well. So the teaching duration is the day student actually need to attend where holiday is, you know, you can have a day off. And what is the future outcome? You can see it's a chef and cook. 
um, if you want to know more what Chef and Cook do, so just click here and then, you know, just go through um, the new page, which will show you what exactly they will do and the, um, the you know, the job outcome. And because we have a lot of campuses, so it's important to see which campus student will be allocating. Because some students, they might not want to, to study in, you know, far away from the metropolitan. Uh, they need to know which place so they can look for the place to live before they come to Adelaide. Um, so it's better to see the campus, the Regency Park, um, the one that I just mentioned previously. Study mode, which means, you know, you have, because they are international students, you must attend the class. Um, and the intake will be January and July intake. So um, our intake is normally January, July, some course offer October intake as well. And then you can see the schedule. Um, so this is the icon of this is explained below here. So this means day classes. Yeah, and um, they might have evening classes depending on the intake. So um, some um, people asking me, hi Chloe, what is the timetable? So our timetable is varied. Every intake is not fixed. Um, so students will know the timetable on the induction day, which means the first day of the class. They come to see the lectures. They will know the timetable. I might be able to ask in advance, but it's only probably one month in advance because sometimes the lecture might not have the timetable ready because every intake they have to make a new one. Um, and if you want to know the course admin requirement, then this is the most accurate one for you. So you can see the course admi admin admission requirement require IL 5.5. Majority of our course require 5.5 IL academic with five minimum. Some course require six, and especially diploma of nursing requires seven before they start the course. And student will need to finish year 10. If you don't look after Indian student or this country, then you don't have to worry. But in the future, you might have this student coming to you. They must finish year 12. But our Vietnamese student, they don't need to finish year 12 to study certificate three. So they just need to finish year 10. That's for the Vietnamese student. Um, we will have the work placement available. Um, so student will do placement. So you can show the student everything here. And the course now, so we will introduce um, the package. So normally student would do certificate three, certificate four and advanced diploma. Um, because that is going to give two years. If they do diploma only, um, then it's just going to be um, one year and nine months. But if you want to study exactly two years, it's best to go through advanced diploma of hospitality management. And this is the fee. The fees are accurate. Um, and it, the incidental fee might go up a little bit. It's depending on the equipment students need to buy before they attend the class. But the actual fee, but then when the tuition fee is exactly the same as listed here. And if you want to know, if your student asking um, what is taught during the class, then you can show her or him all of the unit that will be taught. Um, and this is what gonna be what gonna be delivered during the class. So this is our website. So just taking uh, at the same taking this opportunity to show you a little bit more because I have a lot of people asking me the same question. Um, our entry requirement tab is very important as well. Why is it important? Because it's not just the Vietnamese, of course, Vietnamese for some, um, for like diploma of nursing, you need to have year 12. But if you also manage other um, country, for example, I don't know, probably um, Cambodia or Thailand, which is close to Vietnam, you can see our um, acceptance and the equivalent table. So year 10, 11, and year 12. So if I scroll down here, you can see Vietnam, we say, um, upper secondary schooling or, you know, in the Vietnamese, we say here, what we require or maybe Thailand, what we require. So this is the, um, the equivalent table. And if you go further, you can see the English language comparison table. This is very important. So you can see we are very flexible in terms of English, um, not just accepting IL, we accept PTE, TOEFL. And if student, I'm not talking about nursing, for example, cookery, if student want to take the test with us, um, we also offer the internal test with the cost of 250. Um, yeah, so it depends on the student, but I always advise students to go through a PTE or because the PTE is recognized with everyone, every providers in Australia where our internal test is only applied to TAP SA. 
Um, if student doesn't want to take the test, they can also package with our English partner providers. So we have IELI, we have ECA, SACE, ILSC, and you can see all this. Um, this is the um, equivalent. So if we require IELTS 5.5, they must study this course in size. This is the only thing we accept. If students study general English with size and applying for certificate three in commercial cookery, we do not accept. Um, yeah, so sometimes um, students miss the chance and after they finish say they want to study with us, but we do not re recognize the um, general English. So they must enroll to this course that mentioned in the table. Um, another thing saying applying enroll, we um, applying enroll here. So you can, um, if you want to know our application closing day, because sometimes you have students from offshore. So this is only applied to offshore students because they need some time to do their student visa. Um, the, 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 the deadline applied to, uh, to offshore. But if the student is onshore, they can, they have longer time and they might have it until, you know, if, if our course start on, um, for example, if our course start on, um, mid of July, we can allow students to submit the application close to the mid, which is 13 or 14 of July. So more time for onshore student. So if you have time, go through our web page because everything is available there. Um, if you cannot find it, please let me know. So I will just stop sharing and keep going with my PowerPoint. So you can see this, I put the link here so you can just have a look. Um, the higher education, um, like I mentioned before, we also offer higher education course. We deliver associate degree. So associate degree is the same level at advanced diploma, but they are listed at higher education where advanced diploma is listed um, as the vet level. Um, and not just that, we also offer Bachelor of Tourism, Hospitality, Event Management, um, Associate Degree in Civil and Structure Engineering, um, Associate Degree in Biomedical Engineering. And we also package with other university, public university, which are Flinders University, University of Adelaide and University of South Australia. Um, so this is the entry requirement. So if we, if student, want to do certificate three, they must finish year 10. If they want to study certificate four, they must finish year 11. If they want to study diplo diploma um, or associate degree or the bachelor, they must finish year 12. Um, so the, uh, the basic entry requirement that like I mentioned above, I also put the uh, more information below. So when you when I finish the presentation, you can just have a quick look um, at the web page. Um, for the English level, so like I said, the certificate three to advanced diploma majority of them require IELTS 5.5. Um, the nurse, diploma of nursing, of course, requires seven each band. Advanced diploma in oral health also require um, seven each band. Other courses here, for example, associate degree would require six because they are in higher education. Other bachelor degree also require six. Um, so our most popular course is for the Vietnam market or for Southeast Asian market in general, um, which is commercial cookery. So commercial cookery are more popular than patisserie. Um, and I have a lot of students um, applying for the package up to advanced diploma. Um, if you only do um, certificate three, certificate four and diploma, which is only one year and nine months. But if you want to get two year, um, exact duration, and there is good to package with certificate three, certificate four, and advanced diploma of hospitality management. Um, our second course, most popular one is automotive. Um, so our automotive has been full since last year and it's always full. Um, yeah, so um, this course includes certificate three in light vehicle mechanical technology, certificate four in automotive mechanical diagnosis and diploma of automotive technology. The whole course will be two years duration. Um, the third popular course is diploma of nursing, even though we require seven according to APRA, um, but we still have a lot of applications submitting for this course. So in fact, for January, we're almost full and only have a few spots left. 
Um, and uh, the last one is the Bachelor of Tourism, Hospitality and Event Management. So this course is only three years and we only charge students 15,000 per year um, plus incidental fee, which means the student might need to pay for the books um, that um, we teach. Um, so a bit more information on automotive. Um, so the automotive whole duration is two years. You just need to complete year 10 to start from certificate three. IL level is 5.5. So for anyone, so for example, some students study high school in Australia um, and finish year 12, they will be able to get the English waiver. Um, for the automotive, they can get work placement and the employment outcome would be diagnosed technician. Um, our process, same as others um, practice, we also require certified passport. We require the COE if student is onshore. Um, all the COE that students study um, in Australia, we, because why we need all of that? Because we need to know if students actually study anything um, during the time they are onshore. We just want to make sure, um, and also the visa, not just the current visa, if students have changed um, the few visa, for example, the previous student visa has been expired and apply for a new visa, we need a copy of the old visa. If student was on working holiday visa, we also need the copy as well. Um, and all the document need to be certified. Um, including the transcript and the completion letter. For the Vietnamese student, they tend to have transcript and completion letter in Vietnamese. Um, so we require the uh, document to be translated by the accredited translator. Um, so I know that in Vietnam, we don't have the accredited translator. So it's better to have the justice of peace to certify. Um, and so people that from, uh, from them to um, translate the documents as well. Um, and we need the English certificate. So as I mentioned before, we accept IELTS, PTE, OET, um, TVSA internal English, or our partner English providers. We require the resume. Uh, so for some case, we require some we not. So if students just finished year 12 in Vietnam, uh, 18 years old, and they are applying to TEF, so no, we don't need the resume. If student um, finished year 12, study bachelor, no, we don't need. But if student didn't study anything um, after year 12 and have like one or two years gap, I, I know they might be preparing for some for English tests. Um, they might need to provide a resume saying what they have been doing because some students actually been working and study at the same time. So we just need to know what student has been doing during the time they was in Vietnam and justify the gap. Um, the GTE might be required for some case. Um, so um, more like if student has done the Bachelor of Accounting and then applied to us for a Diploma of Nursing, the GTE must be required. We need to know what's the change and why student have decided to change. Um, if student is onshore and um, bridge visa condition is a no, we don't accept them. Um, unless they have appropriate reason. Um, if student is onshore and study, for example, any foundation school and fail majority of the course, we do not accept because of poor academic requirement. Um, yeah, so um, some course require GTE, some we will reject it. Um, so in if you want to make sure if we accept them, you can let me know beforehand or you can just submit the application and we have a look at it for you. Um, other document might be requested depending. Some of the student might be required to get the letter from the workplace. Some student don't need, so depending on student circumstance. Uh, yeah, I think I think that is all for my presentation. Thank you, Chloe. Um, Thank you, Ivy. Um, yeah. Yeah, I can I can only give you the general information, but to let you know, our GTE is very strict, um, and we require quality application. Um, submitting application is fine. I know SGS Education um, helps a lot with that, but sometimes if if you have some application require GTE, it's very complicated, um, and sometimes you need to go through. So we send you probably the list of eighteen questions and ask students to fill out all of them. Um, and you know, sometimes we say, why students want to change the course? What have they been doing? Um, what is your incentive to return home? So make sure you consult the student accordingly because the GTE process take time. We only have one person doing the GTE. Um, so once you submit the application, 
uh, you don't need to provide a salt. We will request a salt when we require with the offer of letter, and we send you our pan our um SOP requirement as a SOP requirement as well. So yeah, don't submit when, with your application because sometimes you think um or maybe I need the SOP, but in fact we don't require. Yeah, so just just act on when we ask for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. So um, to begin with, um, so to, to make it clear for uh, our partner agent as well, so whenever you guys are sending us the application, please uh, send it with uh, the basic information and then we'll proceed it, uh, proceed it um, to tape SA. And uh, if they have any requirements for further assessment, uh, we'll um, get it back to, uh, to our um, partner agent to advise the student accordingly. Yep. Um, yeah, so um, in the meantime, I'm waiting for everyone to uh, pop in the question in the Q&A box. Um, so I, I, uh, I have a, some, some quick question for you. So um, for you mentioned about the certificate uh, three with um, the Vietnamese student, uh, they don't need to finish uh, year 12 to, um, um, to, to enroll in, in certificate uh, three, right? Only That's correct. Year, year 10. Yeah, so we only, so for example, if students from India, they must finish year 12. But for mm -hmm. people from Vietnam, they don't have to, they can just finish year 10. But the thing is, we only accept students 17 and above by the time they commence with us. Yeah, mm -hmm. but um, we, are, we might change the rules. We might only accept 18 plus just to, mm -hmm. you know, avoid it because under 18 students, they have to fill out a lot of form. We might change that rules, but at the moment, it still seem to be the same. Um, mm -hmm. But majority of Vietnamese students finish year 12 and come here to mm -hmm. start the certificate three. But some students, you might have students on shore and they actually study in um, our, say, our SACE partner, which is other mm -hmm. high school, um, and they only finish year 11, they come to me and they want to do certificate three. I also welcome them, but they have to be 17 plus. 17 plus, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take note on that. Um, so, so far for this year, I uh, like last year, actually, <laughs> I know it's a very special uh, year, like never before, but um, so far, do you have any uh, like uh, offshore Vietnamese student that comments on um, the course online and what's the feedback so far? We don't do online courses, so we was um, planning to do it last year, but we don't think it's going to be a good quality. Um, mm -hmm. We can't lower the fee and we don't want to student paying the same fee and end up with unquality. Um, you know, network or teaching method. So that, that's, for, that's why we decided to not deliver online course at all. Um, mm -hmm. And this year, I don't think we have any either. Um, yeah, so we always require students to be onshore. And we have a lot of COE from student offshore, but you know, at the end, they have to defer to the next intake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, because of the, um, the, the, the um, very like practical courses that uh, TAFSA is offering. So uh, I understood that it's, it's uh, hard to deliver on, uh, with the offshore students. Um, so um, for for the onshore students, uh, once the student uh, finish the um, high school certificate or like the yep. uh, SAC, uh, do you have yep. any like um, like a certain like a, an average of ATAC score um, that you would say for for the student to take note of? Um, Ivy, I missed that. I couldn't hear. Can you repeat? Yeah. So for uh for so say for example the yep. student that finished year twelve yep. in uh in Australia, yep. um what's the average for the ATAR score to be in in uh, enrolling like say diploma? Oh um for diploma of nursing we not just talking about the ATAR so ATAR is not that important yeah. to us, um mm -hmm. but for example for diploma of nursing the student must meet in year 12, they must pass 60%. So in um, our system here is A, B, C, D, E, F, where C yeah. is deemed as 50%. Um, mm -hmm. So I expect students to have, you know, A, A or B, and just one C minimum um, to get 60%. So we consider that more than the ATA, because actually we don't have the ATA requirement score. Oh, I see. So yeah. uh, just, yeah. just above 60%. 
uh, for diploma of nursing. Mm -hmm. um, for, for other diploma, for example, diploma of networking, um, we only require to say completion and student mm -hmm. pass 50% of year 12. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so mm -hmm. we, we um, care more about the say certificate um, and the year 12 that student did with the high school than, you know, um, getting the ATA because we don't have the um, actual uh, requirement for the ATA. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I, I think I remember um, I, I look at the website uh, for the Diploma of Nursing and it uh, only mentioned that uh, passing the, uh, uh, the high school and uh, the, uh, yeah, the ATAR. Yeah. So like uh, they, they didn't really mention about the, uh, the score. So I just want to clarify more about that. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, when, when we don't mention, so yeah, when we don't mention that I mean we don't have. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Yeah, so previously for um, our higher education courses, such as associate degree, we require, I think AITA was, we require 50 or 60, I can't remember, but this has been removed. So all the courses oh, okay. with us, we don't require ATA. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's but see. yeah, for, uh, but so for example, some students they want to do with the university, for example, University of Adelaide, and they mm -hmm. couldn't get into the Uni Adelaide, they can consider, mm -hmm. consider TEF as well, because mm -hmm. we are packaged with them. You know, your agent just need to submit to you and then you submit to mm -hmm. me, um, mm -hmm. and we, we got everything done. So you don't have to go through two providers to get the COEs. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is what I get. Um, so once the student get the COE from TAFE SA, and they wanted to package with, um, say, UNESA or Uni yeah. Adelaide, they can yeah. get uh, the package uh, COE to yeah. the uni as well. That's correct. Mm -hmm. That's good. They are not so required to pay any deposit for the COE. Mm -hmm except mm -hmm. um, our first COE. So if, oh. you know, if students do, uh, just put example, diploma of nursing, package with bachelor of nursing with uni SA, they just yep. need to pay six months in advance for diploma of nursing. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Oh. We will not oh. require them to pay us, uh, you know, the bachelor mm -hmm. COE deposit. Um, for mm -hmm. example, other course, for example, certificate three, certificate four, diploma, advanced diploma, they just need to pay certificate three six months in advance. Yeah, we don't ask deposit for support or diploma. Mm -hmm. That's great. And we don't have enrollment fee. Yeah, so yeah. that's what I'm saying. If you are if you are hesitating, you you believe that all oh, this application would get the visa, because at the end what we wor what we worry is, you know, um, the risk. So if you if you after you assessing the application and you believe the student can get the visa, then just submit the application. We will assess and let you know if student mm -hmm. can get in or not. Um, the mm -hmm. processing time might take some time. Um, but it's still, still it's good to know the exact outcome and because we don't ask for any enrollment fee, so it doesn't matter when you submit the application in. Yeah, yeah that's, that's very helpful. Um, so for, um, yeah, I was about to ask you about the, 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 um, the articulation to uni as well. So do you, uh, say, for example, uh, Diploma of Nursing is a very mm -hmm. special one. So yeah. is there any passing uh, requirement for uh, Diploma of Nursing for students to, who wanted to, um, to, to proceed to uni uh, university? Yeah, so um, if students want to do Diploma of Nursing, which mm -hmm. is 18 months, and then the bachelor, three years the bachelor of nursing is three years so when we issue the coe student will get 4.5 years um and the university of south australia will not give any credit to the student until student complete our diploma of nursing and get mm -hmm. the apra and unmac registration mm -hmm. so once they get the apra registration and mac done they provide those certificate to uni sa uni mm -hmm. will credit um and then give them one year credit and two years study remaining. Mm -hmm. I see. Yeah. 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 So in the beginning, it's uh, in the series, it's going to say uh, three year, uh, four years and a half. Uh, but once they Correct. finish the diploma uh, and, and passing all the class, all the class, um, yeah. then the 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 uh, credits going to transfer to the uni, and then the new COE would be uh, for for the uni would be like less than than three years. 
Yeah, correct. Yeah. So as an agent, um, you I think you should speak to the student before they finish the diploma mm -hmm. of nursing to sit for the IELTS. test. If the IELTS test already expired, you know, mm -hmm. so to get the seven or PT to get the seven beforehand to get everything mm -hmm. done. So once mm -hmm. they got a certificate from us, they can just submit with the APRA and ANMAC. Yeah, got it. Yeah. Um, so students will still get the, you know, the visa, they will get four years, seven months. Um, and, but then the, the actual study, if they got the APRA done, you get one year less. So they have, you know, longer visa. So they might need to study something else or might change to another visa. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Uh, so other than diploma of nursing, is there any um, difference to the other diploma uh, degree as well, or just, um, just pretty much the same? Um, so Diploma of Nursing is our more popular one. We mm. have the Diploma of Horticultures is also getting very popular. Not sure whether it's related to the, you know, the future pathway or not, but yeah. it's really popular at this stage. Um, I have received a lot of application from, um, from Southeast Asia, but for other region, building and construction is very famous as well. So the yeah. building course, um, some people, some I have a few Vietnamese students, um, they decide to do associate degree in civil and structural engineering um, because that course can be packaged with the bachelor with universities um, and the university will give them two years credit and only study two years with the uni. So students can save a lot of money because we, I think we only charge students 36, 37 um thousand for two years but if your student studies the same two year duration with the university they mm -hmm. might charge them you know 60 plus 60 i think yes, yeah yes. yeah mm -hmm. so student can save you know half like thirty thousand um mm -hmm. from studying with us and get two years credit and mm -hmm. easy for the agent just you know again just one application submitted and we process everything with the uni um so uh, i have more and more vietnamese students doing the engineering course uh, because there's some people, they want to do civil engineer, they want to do design yeah. drafting, and then they realize TEF have this option, they can give the credit. And also one more thing is associate degree, when they finish two years, they will get the mm -hmm. um, certificate and the certificate mm -hmm. um, can allow them to work during the time they study with the bachelor. So they actually get more advantage than those who study four years bachelor. Mm, I see. Yeah. 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 All right. Anyone have any question for Chloe? You can please uh, type in the Q&A box. So, um, so far uh, from your end, what's the most uh, like popular uh, concern or question that you get uh, from the agents the most? I think um, the most popular one is, hi Chloe, do you offer online course? <laughs> yeah, uh, I have a lot of agents asking me the mm -hmm. same, uh, but yeah, unfortunately we don't. Second question is, is the COVID-19, you know, when the border will be opened? Um, honestly, I don't know. Um, I still, um, you know, looking into the um, SA Health because they provide the most accurate information. Um, yeah. yeah, and probably another thing is the would say, you know, the, uh, the majority of question would be the intake, the course, whether mm -hmm. the course is available, but everything mm -hmm. is on the website. Um, mm -hmm. So you can, you know, when you have any concern, yeah. just go through the website um, and go to the international tab, you will know everything. Um, right. We don't have, yeah, we don't, we, I also refer to the website, not just agent, because mm -hmm. the website is the most up to date, even more than our course mm -hmm. guide. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. that's that's all. Um, I have students, you know, concerning about their welfare. They are worried about the COVID. Mm -hmm. Um, so last year, uh, we we tried to call each individual student study with us, mm -hmm. and you know, asking them how they was doing. Some people are uh, they they very you know missing home. Um, oh. yeah, because they've been here, and some people they want to go home. You know, some people they are worried. Yeah, um, yeah because at that time. That, we don't know anything, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, and but then after you know, six, seven months, South Australia is getting better. We right. get better managed, um, yeah. So mm -hmm. I think people here and also our our state offer, you know, the the package. I think mm -hmm. it was five hundred dollars, then one thousand dollars, etc. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then uh, people also ask me about the scholarship. 
So mm -hmm. I'm not sure if you're aware, we offer scholarship for um, VET uh, $700 for two years course or higher education um, $1,000 for two years course. It's only applied for 2021 and the mm -hmm. seal will need to be issued before 30th of June 2021, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you can see it on the uh, on the tab essay website with the scholarship. Yeah. I'll also um, include that in in the email uh, following up with this webinar um, when I send it to our partner agent as well, so that you can yeah. uh, be aware of. Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, if anyone don't have any other question, um, let me just um, jump into the most exciting part. We have a mini Kahoot game. So hopefully that everyone did uh, pay attention and. Uh, take some notes um so just make sure that everyone is good to go with the kahoot game if no one have any question all right so uh please get your uh, mobile phone ready so i will share my screen with the uh, kahoot id so okay Oh, you can you see my screen? I think everyone can see my screen, right? Anyone have any problem with registering? Just let me know. 
25 people. Uh, so far, I only had to see like, 11. Okay, I'll start uh, in a few more minutes to let everyone uh, want to join in the Kahoot game. Um, all right, so we started uh, at 11.21. Let's do that. It's a very, very short game, just uh, six questions. So hope that everyone can join in. Uh, just to review your uh, present, uh, your your webinar today with the content. Make sure that you uh, you can rewind some uh, information today. And I will send all the information, um, including the PPT and the um, what uh, the recording for uh, everyone today. Um, so Campuses um, across the metropolitan area of Adelaide. So, uh, yeah, five people. <laughs> oh, actually, two, only two. Yeah, so, um, yeah, it's a quite tricky question. All right, so next up, see. Oh, someone, he, he. <laughs> Being uh, V alive. All right, next. This is a very, very easy question. Which state territory is Italy in? But Northern Territory, Tasmania, South Australia, or Western Australia? Very easy, everyone. Oh, okay. South Australia it is. All right. Oh, okay. Sun Moon is uh, is up there. We in as well. Next up, how long is uh, our um, automotive package, including cert three, four, and diploma? Twelve months, eighteen months, or twenty four months? Everyone remember three. So total for three courses, including so three, so four, and diploma is um, twenty-four months. All right. Let's see who's in. Oh, Bean is on fire. <laughs> All right. Let's keep it up for next question. Two more questions. Can year uh, year eleven student enroll in associate degree level? True or false? We mentioned in the beginning of the, the webinar. Oh, yeah. So associate degree level student has to finish year twelve to be enrolled in, in this um, this degree. All right. Okay. Still the the first three people. All right. Next up. How much is TAFE as a bachelor of tourism? Uh, hospitality and events management per year, including incentive 20k, 25k, 15k, or 17k. Hmm. Wow! <laughs> All right, everyone. 
one, it's it's um, actually 15, yes. So the, the tuition fee is very affordable. So only 15,000 uh, per, per year for the Bachelor of Tourism, Hospitality and Events Management. Um, not as you guys may think, like 20 or 17,000. Um, so very affordable tuition fee. So if you have a uh, student interested in, in um, tourism or hospitality, please uh, refer to TFSA. Um, because um, TFSA not only um, providing the, the bachelor, but also with a package to uh, uni as well, All right? Let's see. Wow, we in. Bean. All right. Last stop. Which universities uh, we have packaged with? Ad Uni Adelaide, Uni SA, or Flinders? All of you both. Oh, very easy. All right. <laughs> so we have all the unis in uh, South Australia that we can package with. So let's see. Who's on the third place? Yang. Yeah, hey, wow, congratulations. All right, so I will send out um, a small gift to Yin um, for winning the first place in the Kahoot game. So thank you everyone for um, joining with us today. All right, um, so in the end of this uh, webinar, I will send out uh, the recording along with the PVT. Thank you very much, Chloe, for uh, participating with uh, our webinar uh, training with our agents. Um, so um, yeah, we hope to convert some uh, student to take essay soon, and we hope to hear um, the good news from, uh, from Australia to open the border for traveling again this year. Hopefully, yeah, thank you. I hope so. I hope so as <laughs> yeah. well. Thank you, Ivy, for for um, making this um, training, and thank yeah. you everyone for participating. So, um, if I don't see you or if I don't talk to you before the Lunar New Year, so happy Lunar New Year. Um, one month to go, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Same thank to you, Chloe. Yeah. Bye, bye. Thank you, everyone. Bye, everyone. Have a good day.